The Office of the Ombudsman orders the dismissal from service of Iloilo City Mayor Jed Mabilog due to questionable wealth. Mabilog was found guilty of serious dishonesty relative to his unlawful acquisition of wealth. The case stems from Mabilog's 8.9 million peso increase in net worth from 2012 to 2013. Mabilog's net worth in his 2012 statement of assets, liabilities, and net worth was 59.358 million pesos. In 2013, his net worth grew to 68.341 million pesos. The Iloilo City Mayor says the increase in his net worth is largely due to his wife's income as a comptroller in Canada and other acquired properties. But the Office of the Ombudsman says Mabilog was not able to present evidence of such income and properties. President Rodrigo Duterte earlier warned Mabilog he will go after him next. Mabilog is included in Duterte's list of alleged narco-politicians. Philippine National Police Chief Ronald De La Rosa says he and newly retired Armed Forces Chief Eduardo Año will focus on conducting internal cleansing in the police force. President Rodrigo Duterte says he will appoint Año as special assistant to the president or undersecretary, whichever is legally tenable, to supervise the police pending the one-year ban on Año's appointment to a civilian office. De La Rosa says he very much welcomes Año's appointment, adding they will eliminate scalawags in the organization. Anyo says he wants to take some time to rest first before he joins the DILG. Twitter on Thursday says it is banning advertisements from Russia-based media outlets RT and Sputnik in response to United States intelligence findings they sought to spread misinformation during the 2016 presidential election. Pressure on Twitter and other internet firms to police their platforms has increased after it was revealed Russia-backed entities sought to manipulate public opinion ahead of last year's vote. Twitter says, quote, This decision was based on the retrospective work we've been doing around the 2016 U.S. election and the U.S. intelligence community's conclusion that both RT and Sputnik attempted to interfere with the election on behalf of the Russian government. It also says RT and Sputnik may remain organic users on our platform in accordance with the Twitter rules. Twitter adds it would donate the estimated $1.9 million it received from the two Russian groups since 2011 to support external research into the use of Twitter in civic engagement and elections, including use of malicious automation and misinformation. Russia slams Twitter's decision and threatened to retaliate. 